Hello and welcome to this Real Sync video for our integrations between Google Contacts and Sierra Interactive. In this video, we will go through the setup process of each of the integrations as well as how each of them function. To begin, we will start with the Sierra to Google Contacts integration and you will click Add Integration. Your source will be Sierra Interactive and your target will be Google Contacts. You can click on the blue instructions button on each side for step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it up. If you click connect on the Sierra side, it will ask you for an API key. In Sierra, you will go to integrations and you will scroll down to Sierra Interactive and this is the API key that will be used. Go ahead and click copy and paste it into the field provided and click verify. And once it states it has been verified, click close and move over to the Google Contacts side, click Connect, gives you the option to add multiple accounts. This requires admin access. Go ahead and click Sign In with Google, select the account that you will use, and click Allow. Once this is done, you will go ahead and click Close and Next. Here is where you can name your integration as well as choose your source options. This SyncBot options is for selecting the agents that you would like to send invitations to if you are using this option. Under source options, you have filters, and you will want to ensure that you enable this lead created option. Go ahead and click save, and close, and you're ready to activate. Once you see this, it means that your integration has been activated. You will click OK, and you will now see it on your dashboard. To move on, we will go ahead and set up the Google Contacts to Sierra integration. Again, you will click add integration. Your source will be Google Contacts and your target will be Sierra Interactive. Again, you can click on the blue instructions button for step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it up. Click connect. Again, you have the option to add the multiple accounts. Click sign in with Google and go through the process again. Once it states it has been verified, go ahead and click close and connect on the Sierra Interactive side. Again, you will paste the same API key in the field provided. Click verify. And once it states it has been verified, click close and next. Again, here is where you will name your integration as well as choose your source options. And here is where you will choose your role as well as which uh, phone number will be your primary number that, that goes into Sierra Interactive. Currently I have a setup for buyer and mobile. You've chosen your options, go ahead and click activate. Once you see this screen, it means it has been activated and you will now see it on your dashboard. Now let's begin with the walkthrough for how the different integrations function. We will begin with the Sierra Interactive to Google Contacts integration. This integration will send leads or contacts into Google Contacts whenever it is created in Sierra. So when, our, when you are creating your lead, the required fields for the integration is going to be first name, last name, and email address. Once you have your information in here, you will want to ensure that this buyer agent is set to the agent that is connected on the integration. Um, you will want to make sure that their email addresses match between Sierra and Google Contacts. So once you're finished putting in the information, I'm going to go ahead and submit. Here in Google Contacts, we can see where the, the contact was created. We got the first name, last name, and email address. So let's go back over here in Sierra and put some information in and we will see it, uh, see it push through into Google Contacts. Okay, so I have filled in some information over here. I've in under summary, uh, if you want the company name and job title to go through, you will just list them like this. And then I also put a note example in here. I've added a phone number, I've added an address, and I've also added a birthday. As you can see, Sierra does not have a spot for the year of the birthday. So that information does not get sent over. And whenever you add this company name and job title, you will need to um, perform another 
update. So since I just added that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a tag over here. The tag does not need an extra update. So as you can see over here in Google Contacts, it pulled over the information. So we've got the company name, job title, we've got that tag, we've got the phone number, which does populate each of the different uh, phone fields here in Google Contacts. We have the address, we have the birthday, and by default, it asks this year. And then down here, we can see where it added the note to the lead. So let's move on to the Google Contacts to Sierra integration. So to get a contact or lead from Google Contacts into Sierra, you're gonna create a contact. And again, the required fields are going to be first name, last name, and email address. I also wanna point out that Google runs on polling. So as soon as they send us the information, we will send it through, but sometimes it can take a few minutes. So please be aware of that whenever you are creating the contacts in Google Contacts. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And we will see that go through into Sierra. So back over in Sierra, we can see that our lead has been created. We do have some information under summary and you will wanna make sure that this does not get edited in any way because this is how we match from Google Contacts into Sierra. So let's go back into Google Contacts and we're gonna add some information. So I filled in some information on this contact. So I added the company name and job title. I've added a couple of different phone numbers. If you recall, mobile was set up to go through under the source options. So we'll, we should see this one go through. Um, I've added a, an address, I've added a birthday, and I've also added a note. Okay, last thing I'm going to add is a label. And whenever you are adding these, if you are trying to add it on its own, it will not work. You will need another update in order to send this tag through. So I'm gonna click save. We will see all of this information push over into Sierra. All right, as you can see, we have some information that pushed through. We've got the company name and job title, and here is that note as well. We've got the tag. We have the phone number, and this is the 8547852, and that's the that mobile number. Okay, we have an address, we have the birthday, and again, it does not have the place for the year. These fields can be updated, but try and leave this email address alone as well as this Nihilus ID information. This concludes our Sierra and Google Contacts video. Thank you so much for watching.